We're joined now by Dr. Rosalind Biggs, an extension beef cattle specialist. And Dr. Biggs, your appointment is actually in the School of Veterinary Medicine. Yes, I'm with the College of Veterinary Medicine. Um, I do have a, a large portion of my appointment that is uh, with OSU Extension as well. Great, well, we're glad to have you on board. And, and this week we wanna talk about um, cold stress in calves in particular. This time of year, you and your colleagues see more people bringing in their animals to the veterinary hospital. Kind of talk about that and, and, and what's going on as, as calving season gets underway. Sure, well, you know, as we enter calving season, uh, you know, producers have a significant investment uh, getting to this point. Uh, and so it's, it's a good time um, to really kind of brush up on, on plans. Equally important is having a discussion with your veterinarian on signs that you need to be looking for and, and what to do and what the plan is when, when things don't go uh, quite as we had hoped. You, you can never intervene too early in, in my mind if, um, if we really sense that there's a the problem going on. And, and being prepared uh, what to do next is, is key. You know, do you have the, do you have the facilities uh, at the place to, to accommodate a delivery? Or are we best to have the you know, truck and trailer hooked up and ready to go uh, to head on into the veterinary clinic? We're winding down February, of course, but we have, you know, no doubt a, a few more weeks of, of cold left in Oklahoma. Is there, are there any particular concerns when the temperatures get below a, a certain Sure, stage. sure. Well, definitely with these calves, you know, we've we've hopefully prepared um, prepared the the mothers of those calves uh, well vaccinated. They're in uh, their nutritional plane is in in good good shape there. You know, if if we come upon a calf that that seems like they're um, they're down, an easy thing to have in your calving kit is just a just a digital thermometer and temp those calves. If they are if they're under a hundred degrees, we need to be really taking some activity there, bring them indoors, get them warmed up. Uh, we can look at warm water baths, the um, hair dryer method, warm air, warm towels. We wanna be cautious though when we're, when we're getting those calves warm that we're not completely taking off uh, that's, that odor of amniotic fluid for that cow because we want her to take that calf back. And so um, monitoring those temperatures and, and easing them up to that 100 degree mark is gonna be uh, really important. Uh, we have a recent article, it's on our website uh, for the College of Veterinary Medicine under continuing education and those are sorted by species. So just have to pick cattle on there and it has, um, has that article there with a, a, lot, a lot more detail um, for folks to take a look at. Great, we'll take a look at that. Great to have you on board and we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for a link to that article, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.